Right chaps, welcome along to the vlog. You're gonna have to bear with, there's some background noise. We've got the chillers on. That's right, gobbling up the electricity. And it just so happens that that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. So obviously, it is really in the mainstream media at the moment about the cost of electricity, usually following the cost of wholesale gas prices. But more importantly, how does that affect us here in the brewery? I'll probably do another video for the pub because it actually costs us even more to run the pub in terms of uh, utility prices. So today we've made a batch of the bacon gesture and that's sat happily in FV3 behind us. And uh, we had a visit today from another local businessman and uh, while we were having a little bit of a chat about the brewing process, he asked me how much does it cost to boil 500 litres which is what we have in here, of, uh, of work. And, you know, I was stuck, actually, because I've not done the calculations since these price hikes came into force. So I thought, probably best to do that, and might make interesting viewing for the vlog. So that's what I did. Now, I told him roughly off the top of my head, it costs about 10 quid uh, to run this boil kettle for about two hours. We've got 24 kilowatts of electricity going in there. And whilst it's not going to be on 100% of the time, because we set it, of course, to maintain a rolling boil, not to boil over, um, I was right in terms of about 10 quid, but not in today's prices. So I was talking the kind of electricity rates that we would have been paying in 2020, 2021. So a bit of a backstory to how we ended up paying the electricity rates that we are paying. Of, of course, neglecting to discuss the mismanagement by government and of course, privatization of the industry. We know that that's a no brainer and a mistake. Uh, initially, we were in contracts for energy for this place in the pub with several um, utility providers and all of them were awful, awful to deal with. I'll name and shame them, Empower, and in particular British Gas, who aren't British by the way, don't be fooled by the name, I'll never use either of those companies again. So being a forward thinking and progressive kind of guy that I am, I thought it would be a good idea for us to uh, look for an ethical provider of electricity, move on to renewables basically. Um, and at the time, the provider that came up the best was a company called Bull Utilities. You've probably heard of them. They're at the moment in administration because, of course, uh, they're too big to fail. But at the time, I thought we'd pay a little bit more on our electricity prices. I'm talking tenth of a penny, just so I had that peace of mind that the electricity that we were using in the brewery was carbon neutral. Now again, there's going to be another debate whether what they're pumping into the grid is actually carbon neutral or not, but that's not for this video. You can hammer it out in the comments if you like, it's up to you. So at the time I thought, yes, it's probably worth it, that's what I think is the right thing to do. So um, we changed our provider to Bull, but we didn't enter into a contract. So Bull run from month to month and you pay uh, you pay for your electricity or gas on the open market. Prices can go up, prices can come down, which we're yet to see. So we signed up with Bull and all was nice for the first few years until everyone's saying Ukraine invasion. I think this was set up to collapse way before then. But let me run you some numbers out. I've got them on a piece of paper here, and it will give you an idea as to the dramatic, actually, the dramatic impact that an increase in electricity costs is going to have on the price of a pint in the pub. And this is wholesale, remember. Now, we have to then factor in, after we've sold this beer to the publican, he's going to have increased overheads in terms of uh, running costs for his utilities or her 
and of course a possible downturn in revenue and turnover due to you and me having less disposable income in our pocket because we're going to have to tighten our belts at home too. So this has a massive knock-on effect, not just across our industry, but the whole sector, you know, hospitality as a whole, not just breweries. So, back in 2021, with Bull, we were paying 15 pence per kilowatt hour. And to run the HLT, which is next to the boil kettle, because remember we're starting with water straight out of the main supply, the municipal main supply, coming in, depending on time of year, between, I don't know, eight, six to eight degrees in the winter to maybe up to 20 degrees in the summer. So let's set it at 20 degrees as the high end. We've got to get that water from 20 degrees up to strike temperature, which for me is around 78. And what I do is I set the HLT to come on in the middle of the morning, about 3 or 4 a.m. And that's usually on until I arrive at work. So let's say five hours. Uh, so the HLT is ticking over. It's got one 12 kilowatt element in there and it has to eat heat over 600 litres of water up to 78 degrees. Now um, our old tariff at 15 pence per kilowatt hour, that works out to be about nine pounds. And then we obviously mash in, transfer everything across to the boil kettle, and then the boil kettle's on for give or take two hours, right? So again, two hours, 24 kilowatts, this time we've got two 12 kilowatt elements in there at 15 pence per kilowatt hour the boil actually costs seven pound 20. it's not a lot at all and then well total that up hlt boil kettle 16 pound 20 a brew hot side then we've got cold side the fermenters behind us they don't just sit there and ferment happily they need heating in winter and they need cooling in summer now, without a doubt, the most expensive part of that is the cooling in summer. So I run Maxi 310 chillers, one of them for each fermenter. Sometimes I've got in the corner a bigger cooler that will do more than one fermenter. But let's just say we've just got the one fermenter at the moment. Now, a Maxi chiller uses 575 watts of electricity per hour. So 0.575 kilowatt hours. So let's say, well at the moment, FE2, an FE3, an FE4, an FE8, 7, 6 and 5, they're all on full whack. They're all on full tilt. So they're running 24 hours a day to, these are on cold crash, so apparently. But let's say they're running 24 hours a day at 15 pence per kilowatt hour that works out at two pounds and seven pence a day on our old tariff cool the beers so that is 28 pounds 98 for a fortnight's worth of running so generally that can be how long it takes us to get a beer ready for packaging so if we combine the hot side cost of electricity with the cold side cost of electricity it gives us a grand total of on the old tariff of 15 pence per kilowatt hour, 45 pounds and 18 pence per brew, which when you whittle that down, 500 litres is our brew length, that's what we get to package, give or take, works out at five pence a pint. Five pence a pint on the old tariff. In November of 2021, we had the first increase which moved us from 15 pence per kilowatt hour to around 32 pence per kilowatt hour. So I'll not run you through all the process again, but we'll have a quick rundown on these numbers. So the HLT has now gone from nine pounds to get up to 10, to 19 pounds 20, big increase, more than double of course. The boil's gone from seven pound 20 to 15 pound 36, and to keep the beer cold, 
it's gone from two pounds seventy a day, two pounds and seven a day, sorry, to four pounds forty one a day, which is for the fortnight from twenty eight ninety eight up to sixty one pounds seventy four pence. So we combine the hot side with the cold side again. How much is it going to cost us? Ninety six pounds and thirty pence for a batch of 500 litres of beer. There are things we can do, of course. We can shorten the time we keep beers in tank, maybe. I do capture heat off the back of the plate heat exchanger, so the next day it's a little bit cheaper. So this all contains rounding errors, and this is probably worst case scenario. But, you know, with the Tories in power, that's generally how I have to run my business. So this £96.30, which is what we're paying now, uh, works out at about 10 pence a pint wholesale out the door to the pub. So 10 pence of what the publican's paying me for the beer that I've just made today is going straight through my business and straight into the hands of the utility providers. Bull, mainly. We use them across the board. So, now here's the rub. Today is September the 7th. On September the 10th, I believe it is, a day that will go down in history in Harrison's Brewery because it's a day where we crunch numbers and our bum did that. Yes, that's right. Squeaky bum time. These numbers don't add up in a sustainable business. So we're going to be going from 32 pence per kilowatt hour up to 65p per kilowatt hour in the brewery. It sounds laughable. From 15 pence within 12 months up to 65. I can't get my head around that type of increase. I think it's something like 330% increase. Unheard of. Might be more than that. That might have been something else I looked at today. So let's do a quick rundown of hot side and cold side prices again. So HLT coming on in the morning till I arrive to mash in. It's gone from nine pounds to 19 pounds. It's gonna cost us now 39 pounds to heat the HLT to strike it. Boiling the beer, it's gone from seven pounds to 15 pounds to 31 pounds 20. So combined, the hot side is going to cost us £70.20, up from £16.20. Where do we find that money from? Theresa May's magic money tree, perhaps? So, looking at the cold side, the chillers. Oh, it makes absolutely upsetting reading. We've gone from £2.07 a day to £4.41 pence a day to ultimately in a couple of days time eight pounds and 97 pence a day eight pounds and 97 pence a day to maintain one of these tanks at the correct fermentation temperature over a fortnight which is how long the beer will be in there as we've said it's gone from 28 quid to over 60 quid to 125 pounds 58 pence that's absolutely ridiculous. So in total, to make a 500 litre batch of beer, it was 45 pounds 18. It is 96 pounds 30. And by the end of the week, it's gonna be 95, 100, 195 pounds 78 pence. That's 22 pence a pint, up from 5p last year. I don't know if anyone out there knows how to make gold from lead or square a circle. I certainly don't. What we're going to do? How are we going to pass this cost on? Because the publican hasn't got any money spare. I know that first hand, as you know. The customers aren't going to have any money spare because they're going through the same thing that we are with their own domestic fuel bills. I don't want to be like a bringer of bad news, but it's only bad news I've got at the moment. 
So if you're out there celebrating the new Prime Minister, I'm afraid you're a cunt. Because something needs sorting out now. Otherwise, we're going to use, we're going to lose, we're going to lose the, the British pub. And we're going to lose this wonderful artisan industry where we can all produce these beers in our own little microbreweries. We're going to put all of these people who work in the bars and work in the breweries and deliver the beer, the draymen, the brewers, the assistant brewers, the waitresses, the chefs, the bartenders, we're going to chuck them all on the scrappy to preserve profits for big energy. Forget it. As far as I'm concerned, something needs to change, something needs to change now. I think the answer is renationalisation, 100%. If you think any different, come up with something in the comments, let me know. But this is the reality that we're facing on this little bit of paper here. See so that? Desserts, £4.75. Not here anymore. This is scrap that we use off, off of uh, incorrectly printed menus, I guess. So there we go. It's kind of, uh, when you put it down in black and white, very difficult. How we're gonna, how we're gonna cope with this moving forwards. And if these prices are here to stay, heaven forbid, it's going to be a very, very tough time for our industry indeed. So that's it folks. Uh, I think this is going to be uh, all I'll be doing today. No, no brewery footage I don't think. But stick around, there's going to be more videos to come. It's nice to see Tom back on YouTube again. Took him a long time to get that brew video uploaded, didn't it? Um, but anyway, stick around, keep liking, keep subscribing. There'll be more videos to come. Check out the links in the description. There's a Twitter feed. There's Instagram and there's a Patreon if you want to support us or help us pay our electric bill. Thanks a lot guys. See you on the next one.